What's up Vikings, Coach Vaughn here to give you a Mace Bell beginner workout. This is an awesome tool to add to your regimen if you want something really unconventional because this really helps build up your shoulders with more resiliency and you don't need a lot of weight to feel it. People are very surprised when I tell them to get a 10 pound mace when first starting out with this. But typically I always recommend women get a 10 pound, men get a 15 pound. That's gonna be the best one. We're gonna go through three exercises to break this down so you get to know your mace a little bit better in context. Let's get started. All right, to set up for the first exercise, we're gonna get to know that vertical stack position. As you can see, I slide that hand down to set it up, stacking my hands at the bottom. I wanna keep those hands stacked near the sternum, as you see there. Keep the elbows down, don't let them flare out. That's gonna impinge the shoulders. And I'm gonna point my index finger to indicate the direction it's gonna go. If some shirtless douchebag tells you to do it with their top hand because they can't think of their own content, you can do that as well. We're gonna do mace pendulums going off a one, two, three count. I'm gonna push it around my shoulders, not over my shoulders. So going off that one, two, three, and I'm gonna just pull it right back in. The reason for this, it's a prerequisite for the Steel Mace 360 because I see people do this, death gripping the living crap out of it, rotating more with their spine, not letting the mace swing. So that death gripping, as you see there, makes my torso swing more. There should be slight torso rotation. That's okay, but this is excessive. We want to let that index and thumb take over. It's a lot like a kettlebell clean. You got to let it rotate around your wrist. Same thing here. You got to let the mace just naturally swing in that pendulum. Don't fight it. You got to practice this so you get stronger with mace 360s. But what do I know? I can swing a 70-pound mace. So if you want to get stronger with that, Practice that one, two, three. Go to the other side, as you see there, with that base hand. So one, two, three. Pull it in nice and tight. Believe me, your mace 360s will be getting much stronger if you practice that. Next, we're going to do mace bell swing and catches. Make sure you tilt that mace while your hips are hinged back. You're going to swing it back, hiking it, and then pop those hips up, sliding your hand up toward the mace head, catching it with a nice firm grip on your thumb at the mace head. I liked showing people at first to slide the hand up and down so they feel a little more confident with it at first to keep it at their side to teach you know that leverage point with the mace because that long handle is going to make it feel pretty offset. But once you get better at with it, see right there, kind of a little bit out of a, of a flick of the wrist, popping it up. You can add a little more air to it as you get a little more confident with this. And this will transition to doing more hand-to-hand -hand swing and catches in the next workout. And as I stated, keep it away from your face. Unless you want to see a dentist, save that money maker. Keep it away from your face. Really got to stress that. Keep it off to the side. Use those hips. Drive those feet to the floor. It should feel weightless up top. Make sure you do both sides to equal one set. Last, we'll be doing uppercuts. You'll have both palms down. I like to have my hands near the knurling, so I'll have a little bit of offset weight. It'll be vertical and then pulled back in that elbow, uppercut, and then back to center. So I elbow, uppercut, center. Constantly use that cadence so you own all three positions. So in that elbow position, keep the forearms vertical. Don't let them flare out. And then uppercut, you're going to push and pull the mace at the same time to add a nice punch right there. And then bring it back to center in a vertical position similar to the vertical stack. And then lastly, you really got to pivot those feet going left to right to get more power out of it or else you're going to use your low back too much. So as you see on the other side here, keep those elbows nice and tucked in. Notice that base, and I pull with that to get a little more punch out of my uppercut hand. Pivot that foot, rotate the other side nice and smooth. Get 10-10 each side, and you'll get better each set. All right, so if you enjoyed that workout, um, if you want to get more, you want a little bit more information, I do have a book, Enter the Steel Mace, on Amazon breaking down everything you need to know with a full beginner program. And if you want a little bit more from an ebook, you want you know more hyperlinked context from that, I have a ebook called Gotta Swing, showing how to use your steel maces with kettlebells on one program from beginner, intermediate to advanced. Got that up on my website. Feel free to answer any questions you, uh, you have in the comment section below, I'll be sure to get to you. This is Coach Yvonne signing off. Hope you have fun with that.